we're just really good girlfriends. And I think we started as political, came together around politics, and most days it's like, hey, what you doing? I don't know what you're doing. But the, those are the friends that we've now become where it's more social, uh, supportive, encouraging, sister friends. Yes. Of course, and here at Sister Circle Live, we're grateful to be joined by the sister friends better known as the Color Girls, mm -hmm. Mignon Moore, Donna Brazil, Yolanda Carraway, and Leah Daughtry. Welcome to the show, ladies. Can yes. we give it up to these beautiful ladies? Yes, Woo. yes, and yes. My yes. goodness. My yes. God, I'm so, so, so happy and honored that you ladies are here yes. with us. This is the epitome of what Sister Circle is all about. Yes. And women like you. But before we dive into the show, I, I just want to kind of take a minute to introduce all of you and let everybody know how off the chain, y'all. <laughs> y'all are off the chain. Yes, off they the are. Chain. I would agree. So Minion is the former CEO of the Democratic National Committee and director of the White House Political Affairs under President Clinton. Mm -hmm. That's right. Donna Brazil. What? Is the vice <laughs> chair. <laughs> Good Donna Brazil. Yes. Is the vice chair of voter registration and participation at the Democratic National Committee and former interim mm -hmm. national chair at the Democratic National Committee. Yes. Yolanda Carraway. Well, a public well. relations powerhouse who served as chief of staff of the National Rainbow Coalition during Jesse Jackson's presidential run and former deputy chair of the Democratic National Committee. Yes. Uh -huh. And of course, Reverend Leah Daughtry, well, well, former well. CEO of the Democratic yes. National Committee in 2008 <laughs> and 2016, and the first person in the Democratic Party to hold the position twice. Wow. Yes. Welcome to Sister Circle. Welcome. My yes. God. Yes. 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 And now we know how all of this black girl magic mm -hmm. has happened and what you have done leading up to this moment. Yes. This book, For Color Girls Who Have Considered Politics, mm -hmm. why yeah. have you come together to tell this important story? We come together because we are women who have dared to make a difference in the political arena. We are here because we want to encourage other women, especially mm -hmm. young African-American women, but women of all colors, right. to mm -hmm. take their seats at the table. That's why we've come together. I love it. Oh, and thank I want you to take the seat at the sister circle table. Yes. 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 Right. I know that's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's get into this book. Mm -hmm. And let me just say, too, I've been reading this book. This book is, and you know, you so see good. politics on the, on the front of a book, and you think, oh, man, you know, you get intimidated. Yeah. <laughs> but this is like a good old time read. <laughs> <laughs> Especially so is this one quote in the book. Okay, so uh, Minion, she had said, in part in the book, it describes when you reached out to Donna while you both were supposed to be working a campaign for the Massachusetts governor, Michael Dukakis. <laughs> Early into the campaign, you called Donna mm -hmm. and you asked her, girl, where are you? And she was like, girl, I'm on strike. <laughs> <laughs> so Donna was not here for uh, Dukakis' campaign because right. he wasn't supporting the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation dinner. Mm -hmm. And the excerpt that stood out to me was when you said, if the campaign knew that black folks would support Dukakis without any organizing in the community or support from black institutions, the community's value would be lost. Mm -hmm. That was very impactful. So the question I have is, how can black voters hold politicians accountable while they are campaigning to the initiatives that they say they will implement once they are in office? You know, I think the thing that we are mo most troubled about when it comes to voting is we treat voting like it's, a, it's an event. Yay. Like everybody is running towards mm -hmm. the midterms. Right. We need to treat it like it is our value system. Mm. We need to treat it like it is something we have to do every day. And part of what happens is we vote for politicians, then we go home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. And we don't, we, don't, mm -hmm. we don't ask them any questions about their legislation. We don't ask mm -hmm. them any questions about what they are doing to help their communities. Mm -hmm. You know, if your garbage wasn't being picked up, you certainly call the mayor yes. or you yes. call the mayor's staff. And it's the same thing with a presidential candidate or with your, with your congressman person or your senator. Right. They go, on a, they're not held accountable because we don't hold them accountable. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. Mm -hmm. right. Uh, another quote, uh, Ms. Moore, he said, uh, on oh. some days you had to make a decision <laughs> that you uh, side with the groups because you knew it was right. It was the right thing to do. And there were other days when you had to be the bearer of bad news and you would have to let the groups know the White House mm. was going in a different direction. Mm -hmm. It was always a balancing act. So I do want to direct this question uh, to Ms. Yolanda or uh, Reverend Daughtry. How often have you ladies, if ever, found yourselves compromising mm. your foundational mm -hmm. principles to soften the political blow. You know, I, I, 
I don't believe in compromising my principles. Okay. So my right. principles and my values are what they are, and they don't get compromised. Okay. What may yeah. shift and may change may be the tactics mm -hmm. okay. with which I achieve the principle or which I achieve the value. So there are there have been times that you know you say, well, this didn't work, so let me try this. Mm -hmm. But the underlying value of respect, of dignity, mm -hmm. of pressing issues and moving people forward stays the same regardless. Okay, mm -hmm. you keep that. You definitely you keep that keep foundation. That yeah, sure. absolutely. Can, yeah. Shifting values makes for shifty personalities. Right. Uh, Message. And, and you don't you don't want that. So. Right. But what you do have to have is always a plan B. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. In case plan A doesn't work. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Speaking speaking of compromising and plan B, mm -hmm. but something that is very, very, very dear to my heart, and I just, I cannot understand why it is still existing, is pay disparity. Mm -hmm. oh, Lord. So the legislators in California recently passed a bill requiring all publicly traded companies based in the United, in, this, in that state to have at least one woman on their boards mm -hmm. of, di board of directors. Mm -hmm. Now, even despite of the Equal Pay Act, right. we still are dealing with pay disparity, especially with women in America. Mm -hmm. Is this a step towards change? for pay disparity and for women being, you know, finally being viewed as equal as far as pay is concerned. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Look, one person is a token, two is window dress, and three is inclusion. I know. <laughs> 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 I love it. Um, but look, since 1963, when the Equal Pay Act uh, mm -hmm. was enacted, we're still suffering from pay disparity. Mm -hmm. for, for white women, it takes one year and four months. For black women, it takes one year and eight and a half months wow. to make the same amount of money as a white man. We should have equal pay across the board. Yes. And I'll just give you an example. As a business person, I never can command the same kind of retainers and, and, and mm -hmm. contracts as men get. I just right. don't. Right, yeah. right. And you know, it's across the board, mm -hmm. even in entertainment. Yes, yes, yes it is. Everything. Yep. Absolutely. Right. That's right. Right. Absolutely. That's yeah. right. Absolutely. Well, of course, Dr. Martin Luther King, uh, Malcolm X, Jesse Jackson, even <clears throat> President Barack Obama have served as the voice mm -hmm. uh, of, of generations. But do we have that person? Who is our person now that is leading us in that direction like these gentlemen did mm -hmm. and like you women are? Who is that person? Or do we have that person? I don't know that we need a single person. Yeah. I think there mm -hmm. are a, a variety of voices that are out there now talking about our values and trying to hold us true and remind mm -hmm. us yes. of what our values are as a community, as American citizens. And so you have Dr. William Barber, you've got Reverend Tracy Blackman, you've got a number of folks whose voices are pressing, Aijin Poole mm -hmm. with the Domestic Workers Alliance who are keeping our values front and center and trying to move us toward them. So I, I think we're past the time now where there's one single okay. voice. Yeah. Gotcha. Right. And gotcha. I think gotcha. we've got all these great Great women out here. Yes. But right here in Georgia, you got Stacey Abrams. Stacey She's Abrams. Yes. 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 Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And, and but, Keisha but, Lance Bottoms. Right. Yeah, yes. Keisha. But, but in the era of, of Me Too, mm -hmm. it is time that we step up. Why you? Because there's no one better. Why now? Because tomorrow's not soon enough. Right. Right. This is our moment. Yes. 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 It is our moment. It is our moment. Yes. Yes. Our moment. My Absolutely. God. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. It has been an absolute pleasure to have each and every one of you at the table with us. Yes. When I tell you, we are excited. So and excited. thank you so much for telling your stories and for colored girls who have considered politics. Yes. And oh, hopefully, we yes. hope we think about it. That's a good book. That's right. right. Christmas <laughs> gift for everybody. Christmas yes. gift for everybody. <laughs> That's right. Can we give it up for these wonderful yes. ladies?